So let's bring in Jeremy Dice, attorney for Auburn University head football coach Hugh Freeze and First Liberty Institute senior counsel. Uh, good to have you here, Jeremy. Thank you for, for joining us. So uh, give us a sense of what the legal questions are here, because you see this group saying that this is a public university, that they shouldn't be promoting religion and faith on the grounds of a public university. What do you say to them? Well, this is an organization that is upset that Christian people are doing Christian things at a Christian organized event. This should be no surprise to us whatsoever. The Founding Fathers had absolutely no problem with this kind of a thing. And the Supreme Court has recently reaffirmed that this is perfectly acceptable, that coaches like uh, Coach Freeze and all the other coaches involved here, they don't have to shed their constitutional rights when they walk through the schoolhouse gates. They can actually be people of faith, and unless and until this organization comes to us with some, something resembling proof that this has been coercive or forcing people to bow down in a way that they don't want to do so, then they need to go back and read the First Amendment that guarantees the free exercise of religion. In other words, to borrow from Justice Gorsuch, this organization, in the name of religious liberty, is trying to use religious liberty to censor religious mm -hmm. liberty. We're not going to stand for that kind of thing any longer in this country. Um, let, let's play some of the crowds singing at this baptism so people get a sense of what this moment was like. And you know what, let's see this uh, soundbite from Michael Floyd, one of the students who attended the, the, these baptisms. He wasn't baptized, but he attended. Watch this. It lets people know that college students are unapologetic about their worship and seeking Christ, and that, you know, that uh, we're rising up to take a stand for the kingdom of God and to see that, hey, it's time to be about our Father's business. I mean, it's a beautiful event. And, it, you know, so I guess the legal test is whether or not anyone felt coerced or whether they feel that these coaches, if they don't show up for something like this, are going to not want them on the team, not, you know, want to put them in the games, things along those lines. Is there any anyone saying that that's what's happening, Jeremy? No, and there's no proof of that. And it has to be actual coercion and not these feelings of coercion that, Maybe they saw religion in public and got scared as if it's some sort of disease that's going to infect them. No, they actually have to bring evidence that they are being coerced in some way. That's not the case here. Look, if the Founding Fathers landed in 2023 America today and saw the amount of suppression in the name of religious freedom that this group and others is trying to force upon us, they would be shocked and concerned. The reality is this. We have more religious freedom in our country today than we have had in decades. And so for Coach Freeze, for these students on campus, for coaches and students across the country, let me just speak to them bluntly. You have uh, the maximum amount of religious freedom that you've ever had in this mm -hmm. country. Go out there and be free. And if you have any questions about that, go to firstliberty.org. We're happy to evaluate right. your case. You can learn what it means to be free in this country again. Let's go do it. Yeah, it's a fascinating discussion. Uh, Jeremy Dice, thank you very much. Good to have you here today. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.